It's a 155-year-old celebration. Juneteenth marks the emancipation of African Americans from slavery. And today, thousands took to the streets of Toronto in a sit-in both at City Hall and police headquarters in a call to end anti-black racism and defunding the police. The days, the days of small incremental change are over. We are here to ask for the defunding of the police. We are here to ask for the disarming of the police. And we are here to ask for the dismantling of police. These demands chanted loud and clear right in front of Toronto Police Headquarters. No justice, no peace. Abolish the police. It's time to disarm the police. It's time to dismantle the police. The Toronto Police Services budget is over $1.1 billion, which is more funding than is allotted for libraries, housing, and shelters combined. The words defund the police etched in bold pink lettering on College Street in the city's downtown. While thousands staged a sit-in as an act of solidarity with black and indigenous communities who face systemic racism. We're moving forward. And we need to keep moving, we need to keep the momentum going because it's only going to take unity and openness to unlearn and learn the things that we need to progress in this society. The demonstration organized by Not Another Black Life and Black Lives Matter Toronto is just one of many that we've seen in the last several weeks. Groups calling on the city to reduce the police budget by at least 50 percent and to have those funds redirected to black, indigenous and racialized communities. We know that police kill our communities. We know that to be black and indigenous is a danger when it comes to interactions with police. We've done all the work we can to try and reform the police. And I think it is time to reinvest that money into community health strategies that have proven to provide more safety. We can only do this together. We can only continue this conversation together. And that's the only way we can do this.